everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm back with a new video about my most used Linux commands. So I have made a list with them and I will slowly show them all. But I will not go too much into detail because else this video could take hours. If you know all these commands, you should be able to work with the terminal very easily and also work with a server image without a desktop. You can download this list in the description of my video. If you are not used to working with the terminal yet, then I would advise to try every command once to see how it works. The Linux terminal is very powerful and often the fastest way to do things. I grew up with MS-DOS. And it does look a little bit like MS-DOS, but you can do a lot more with the Linux terminal than you could do with MS-DOS. So here we go! So I am using Armbian Bionic Server on the NanoPy M4. So the first command we will do is sudo apt update. So sudo stands for super user do. Apt is a program that we use to handle our repositories and to install applications. And update means update your repository list on your computer. So the repository list is a list with all the available software. So this needs to be updated to be able to install new updates and to install the latest versions of software. The next command is sudo apt upgrade. So this upgrades the Linux software to the latest available versions. It is best to always do this first when you start with a new Linux installation. Once you have updated your repository list and upgraded your software, you can install software. So to do that we type in sudo apt install and then the package name of your software. So here I am installing p7zip full. Even when you are using a desktop, this is the fastest way to install and remove software. So to remove it, we type in sudo apt remove p7zip full. Here you see the following package was automatically installed and no longer required. So to remove that we can type in sudo apt auto remove. It will often happen after an upgrade that there are packages that are no longer used. So this is the way to remove them. Another very useful tool is aptitude. So aptitude is almost the same as apt but it is more advanced. If you have problems installing software with apt or you have unmet dependencies, then use aptitude. It will give you different choices you can make. In this way you can fix the unmet dependencies or any other problem. You can also run multiple commands with a double ampersand in between. Like here, sudo apt updates and sudo apt upgrades. It will then first execute sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade after that. That's it for installing and updating software. So now to change your root passwords, you type in sudo passwd. It often happens that you don't know the root password of a pre-built image. So this is how to change the root password. And to change the password of your user itself, you just type passwd. To access the root account, you just type su. This is often handy when you have to do a lot of commands that need root access. Now some debug commands. So the first one is dmessage. This shows a lot of information about what happened since boot. To look up, you do shift page up and to look down again, shift page down. This is most handy in the terminal emulator since you can easily scroll up and scroll down. To see the kernel version and architecture of your system, we type in uname-a. To see more information, there is the environment command or env. A very handy tool to see what is happening in real time with your computer is htop. This gives a lot of information about the state of your CPU and about the applications running. It is handy to have this open in a terminal. So you can open multiple terminals with Ctrl Alt and then one of the F keys. So from F1 to F6 you can open a terminal. So F1 is a standard terminal that we are using at boot. So to open a second terminal I type Ctrl Alt F2. And here I will run a 7-zip benchmark. 
So to return to HTOP I type Ctrl Alt F1 and here we see what is happening with our computer. You can also use Ctrl Alt plus one of the F keys when you're using a desktop to open a terminal. And to return to the desktop you use Ctrl Alt F7. Our next command is reboot. So this just simply restarts your system. And as last for this video, shut down now. So the shutdown command will shut down your computer. You can schedule it with a time when it needs to shut down. If you type now, it will shut down immediately. If you type in this for example, then it will shut down at 10 o'clock. So that's it for part 1. So we have seen how to update the system, how to install programs and how to remove them, how to change your password and how to access the root user, some debug tools, how to switch to another terminal and how to shut down and restart your computer. So in the next video I will show you some CPU tools, how to create files, move, remove them and how to browse through folders. So thank you all for watching, I hope you like my video, see you all later, bye!